I really think Nigel is is the difference for us. I think the settled team and the settled spine of the team, there is no team out there that I look at that has got, you know, for me, I think we've had a 30-week pre-season because since Nigel's took over, it's kind of been building for this now, what's coming. The end of last season, it was going to be a long shot to get us out of the league. Um, with uh, the the start that we had and how far we had to catch up, teams like Doncaster proved it was possible by having a hell of a run. Um, but ultimately, our season kind of pit- petered out to mediocrity um, uh, far too soon. Um, and I think the last day that we really had a, 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 a the last hurrah was the win at Wrexham, having that win and to not follow it up with an absolute perfect form pretty much meant that we couldn't qualify for the playoffs. So, um, I, you know, I, I think that our Christmas period has whet the appetite. Um, those four wins over Christmas and New Year, we know that we can beat the best at League Two level because we did it, uh, and we did it quite convincingly in some uh, cases. Like the opposition that we take on 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 Saturday, uh, they are as far as I can say uh, I can see the, the most League Two team out there at this moment in time. They, they they try and set up and play football the right way. Sometimes it causes them problems in doing that, and when it works, they can look quite impressive. Um, I go back to last season and look at Stockport. I don't think Stockport were um, on their day as good as Newport County were at the start of the season. But Stockport put in a whole shift for the whole season. They put in a 10-game run that got them right up there. And when they were right up there, they stayed there. They came to Prenton Park and they were absolutely battered uh, by Trammy and we tore them apart and they were top of the table. Um, But ultimately, we're still in League 2 and they're in League 1. Player on player, there's plenty of times that you can look at squads and, and, and sometimes question, do you have the ability? I just think now with the recruitment additions we've got, we've got that balance. We've got that pretty much apart from the one man, Rob Apter. We've got that um, team that we know, all bar Apter turned up and beat those top uh, four teams in League Two last season. We've still got them, but we've added to them, hopefully, some quality. I feel like we've added height, we've added physicality, and we've added fitness. Um, And if those lads who were there last season remember what it feels like to beat the best in the league consistently and remember what it's like to um, win football matches, hopefully they've seen enough of what... The, the, the Super White Army can deliver to players. Uh, Prenton Park's a special place when we're winning. Prenton Park's a special place when we're all together. And, you know, there's on-field uh, issues for me, uh, I feel, have gone. There is still definitely off-field issues going through with, uh, I sent a jesting picture out the other day of the fan park uh, and Nigel Atkins celebration promotion in it, celebrating promotion in it. I genuinely think that on-field um, positivity will spill into the uh, off-field. And I feel that the off-field, if we do get some investment through, um, personally, I do hope that uh, the Palioses are still involved in, in the club because I'd be slightly scared about a foreign investor taking straight over Tramia Rovers. Um, and I don't feel Mr Palios would uh, would let us go to a foreign owner, someone who had uh, questionable uh, thoughts of what to do with the club. But ultimately, the fact that the fan park has not been signed off as the you know the, these kind of delays for me it makes me feel like there's something going on behind the scenes so if we can get off to a fast start and let's say there is something going on behind the scenes what's to say there isn't money there to strengthen in January and it would be nice to be strengthening in January and add to those 24 25 players in January with real quality just to help us get over the line and really have either an automatic push or or, or cement a solid playoff campaign um but I genuinely do feel that if it's ever going to work for someone at Tramier Rovers surely it has to be Nigel Atkins <laughs>